Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here, and today we are going to look at the power of right clicking in Windows 8. Now, a bit of background on right clicking is that the first right click in a public excuse me, a public version of Windows was in Windows 95. So before Windows 95, you could not right click. I mean, I suppose you could, but it wouldn't do anything. So in Windows 95, we started having these types of menus where you just right click and you get extra options. So let's start on the desktop because that will get done the quickest. So as far as Windows 8 right clicking versus Windows 7, it's pretty much the same. You got personalized and screen resolution options here, new options there. If you have a slideshow background like I do, it doesn't go during the videos because I have it turned off so the performance of my screen recorder is better even though it still sucks anyway but uh, you can go to the next one you have graphics options and graphics property if you're using a computer with Intel you should have these options you got Microsoft share space or SharePoint whatever that program is called if it's installed um, I recently deleted a program so you have an undo option pasting a shortcut or pasting if you have something in the clipboard Refresh if you need to refresh the icons for whatever reason. Sorting the icons by a certain way and then viewing the icons at all. I have them hidden right now for the video. But you change the way they're arranged, small, medium, or large. So that's pretty much the same as Windows 7. Now if you right click on an empty spot in the taskbar, you get these again, the same options. You change the toolbars that are in your taskbar window management showing the desktop task manager and the task manager looks very different from Windows 8 from Windows 7 and if you were to right click you see locking the taskbar then you can move it if it's unlocked I like it on the bottom though and properties and this is again this is pretty much the same as Windows 7 except for a few things Number one, you have these things about uh, the store apps on the taskbar. Uh, one thing is that you have the start screen part here. So you can have it set to when you sign in, it will bypass the start screen and go straight to the desktop. So that's really nice. I do that because it feels a little bit more professional, and I always go to the desktop anyway. So then a jump lists and toolbars those are the same the only difference is pretty much navigation as far as I can recall so if you need to change the way like the charms bar works or the start screen right click on the taskbar and click properties alright now if you right click on an icon on the taskbar you get some options Windows Explorer so you can pin just like in Windows 7 this is the exact same you can pin folders and stuff and and files to the icon so if you right click on it you can get to them very quickly and it also show frequent or recent things you have accessed now this is new if you right click on the start button you get lots and lots of options you see all those those are kinda like shortcuts and I'm very glad that Microsoft included those in Windows 8.1 because that's a, it makes it a lot easier to use they got lots of options here quick things so you don't you can get to the control panel first of all very quickly there instead of going through the files and stuff what else is here you got the run command so if I click run you can run Winver, for example, and it will show this window with uh, the um, the information about the operating system. So I got Windows version 6.3, build 9600. It is Windows 8. This Windows 8.1 operating system, blah blah blah, all that stuff. All right, what else is down here? You got a search option, which I can only assume is the same as the one in the charms bar. Yes, it is. All right, back to the desktop. That was my bad. I clicked the wrong button. You can open the command prompt, disk management. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just trying to think what else to show you here. Control panel is the exact same in Windows 7. Uh, you just got all kinds of stuff. So if you have Windows 8, just start right clicking on stuff and you'll figure out what to do. Alright, if you remember my earlier videos of Windows 8, you'll remember me showing you what happens when you right click on a tile on the start screen. And the, you get some options here. You can pin it to the taskbar, pin it to the start screen. You can uninstall certain apps. You can't uninstall the store, obviously. But And if you right click on an empty spot in the start screen, you get name groups and you can change these names up here. So basically, right clicking for 19 years, almost 20 years now, since Windows 95, has been very important in Windows. And if you right click on pretty much anything, you will get some more options. By the way, right clicking on a touch screen, you press and hold, and then it, it's a right click. So if I want to right click on the start button, just do that, and there we go. You also have your sign out options down here. I forgot to mention that. So if you don't have uh, these up here, this power button up here on the start screen, if you have an older version of Windows, instead of having to bring out the charms bar, and settings and power you can just right click and use that but anyway guys that's my time I uh, thank you so much for watching next week I'm looking at doing an Android tutorial so thumbs up for that and I'm Joe Green check out my main channel links in link is in the description and I'm Joe Green I will see you next Saturday